Hello and welcome back to Movie Recap World. In this video, we'll be reviewing the second episode of Tomorrow, following up on our recap of the first episode. We're glad you enjoyed our last recap, so make sure to stick around to the end and let's dive into the review. Would you try so hard to keep someone alive who wants to die on their own and then investigate even deeper to make their life better? This situation seems to match with the episode, so sit tight and enjoy. In the second episode, we follow Gu Ryon and Choi's journey into Umbai's memory, where they find really disturbing events and realize the true story behind why Umbai wants to end her life. Gu Ryo uses the memory key and unlocks a key memory from Umbai, where they find out that Umbai was a victim of bullying and the main bully was Umbai's classmate, Haiwan. Turns out, Haiwan used to instigate all the bullying that Umbai faced. She even makes Umbai laugh every time she clicks her pen. From then on, Haiwan clicks her pen at random times and makes jokes out of poor Umbai. If we look back to the interview, Haiwan even taunted Umbai by clicking her pen throughout the interview. Haiwan really made Umbai's life in school a living hell. When Haiwan suggests that she starts bullying Umbai's friend in place of her, Umbai doesn't let it happen and takes all the bullying to save her friend. So, the bullying continues on for Umbai. Choi can't take it any longer and tries to help her. But just then, the world around them yet again starts to shatter. Go Ryo explains that if anyone in the memory becomes aware of their presence, they will be trapped in Umbai's memory forever. They quickly try to escape and go to another memory where they see that Umbai's classmates wrote horrible things about her on the board. They see that Umbai really struggled during her teens. Suddenly, the world around them inside the memory starts to distort, and Gu Ryan and Choi have to hurry and get out of Umbai's memory. But they unlock another memory where they find themselves on a train carriage where Umbai is seen smiling. Yet again, the memory starts to deform and it looks like Goon Ryon and Choi are going to get crushed in Umbai's memory. Luckily, they manage to get out of the memory just in time. Now they fully know why Umbai is in such a bad state in her life. Her bully, who made her life a living hell, got famous after ironically writing a comic book on bullying, which she claims to have written to comfort the victims of bullying. Her past has really broken her up. Meanwhile, Haiwan acts like she doesn't even remember Umbai when her friends bring her up. It seems Haiwan is scared to bring up her past as she has become really popular and doesn't want to ruin her career. Meanwhile, Umbai is really struggling to write about the interview she had with Haiwan as she struggles to differentiate the person she interviewed and the person who bullied her. Next day, Umbai runs into Haiwan, who then starts talking to a scared Umbai. And it turns out she hasn't changed a bit. She's still the arrogant bully she used to be. She yet again clicks her pen during the interview and taunts Umbai. Choi is unable to see Umbai in distress, so he snatches the pen away from Haiwan. Later, Gu Ryan confronts Choi for interfering directly in the matter, but Gu Ryan and Lim state that their mission is to save Umbai from taking her own life and not to punish Haiwan for her sins. That night, Umbai takes some courage and tells her boss about all the things that Haiwan did to her. She asks her boss to not air the interview, but her boss just tells her to forget about it and wants to air the interview anyhow. This yet again breaks Umbai and as there's no one to support her. Just then, Haiwan confronts her for trying to hurt her career. Umbai gets extremely nervous and Haiwan decides to torment her even further. She starts clicking her pen and makes Umbai extremely uncomfortable, unable to stand it. Umbai runs away from her office. The Jumadong team later sees Umbai running towards the roof and Choi follows her. Umbai is at the lowest point in her life and she has thought of ending it all. Choi tries to stop her and promises to help her, but Umbai just pushes him away saying no one really helps, even when they say so. Just then, Gu Ryan arrives and uses her usual tactic. She tells Umbai to jump off the building if she really wishes to. She thinks Umbai will realize her mistake and decide to live. Choi shouts at Gu Ryan for not trying to understand the pain Umbai is in. So, Gu Ryan commands Lim to take Choi away to not interfere. She then tells Umbai to do whatever she pleases, believing Umbai will pick life over suicide. However, she has failed to realize that Umbai is really at the lowest point and she really wants to end her pain. Umbai explains that the bullying left her so traumatic that she has a hard time smiling and it also always brought back memories of her sad past. Realizing that her usual tactic might fail, Gu Ryo encourages Umbai to live by making her remember all the time she spent trying to overcome her trauma in her room. Umbai gets surprised to see a random stranger know her secret. When Gu Ryan reveals that she is a Green Reaper, Umbai is taken aback and falls from the building. Umbai cries as she realizes that she's going to die. 
She remembers some of the most wonderful times in her life and wishes that she would have chosen to overcome her trauma and lived her life to the fullest. Luckily, Gu Ryan breaks her code of not interfering directly and saves Umbai. After saving her life, Gu Ryan tells Umbai to value her life and not to let it go to waste because of some low-life bullies. Later, Lim shows that Umbai's critical score has come down to 50%, and they still need to be cautious. Just then, Choi arrives with a man, who turns out to be Umbai's favorite comedian, who he used to watch a lot when she was distressed. Trying to cheer up Umbai, the comedian makes some jokes and successfully manages to make Umbai genuinely laugh after a long time. Choi then hugs Umbai and thanks her for not giving up on her life. Just then, Lim notices that Umbai's critical score has significantly gone down, which means they've successfully completed their mission of saving Umbai, who would never attempt to take her life. Choi later finds out through Lim that if Umbai had died after the suicide attempt, she would have been sent to hell, where she'd have regretted her decision for eternity. After saving Umbai, Gu Ryan turns out to focus towards Haiwan. She visits Haiwan and commands her to apologize to Umbai. But when Haiwan refuses to do so, Gu Ryan grabs her by the neck and throws her into Umbai's memory, where she takes Umbai's place and experiences everything that Umbai went through. Finally, Haiwan realizes the trauma that Umbai had to go through all because of her. Thinking that she's going to die, she begs Gu Ryan to let her live. Gu Ryan then shows her that the news of her being a bully has gone out to the public, thanks to the other victim speaking out. She then warns Haiwan not to end her life as she'll then have to endure all the suffering in hell for eternity. Gu Ryan then does the same to Haiwan's friends who helped her bully Umbai. The boss who neglected Umbai's plea also gets canceled. Umbai receives a call to give an interview detailing everything that Haiwan did to her. Meanwhile, a flashback reveals that Gu Ryan was in hell for committing suicide when the Jumadong director came to her and recruited her to help those who wanted to end their lives just like Gu Ryan did. Thanks for watching until the end. What do you think will happen next in the story? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. If you enjoyed this recap, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more recaps. See you next time!